All right, so I'm going to show you how you assemble a Starcaster fidget. Uh, this is everything freshly printed um, and all the supplies, the bearings, uh, which I prepped. I'll do another video on that, uh, the LED, and then uh, just the tools that I'll be using, tweezers maybe, flush cutters, and uh, pliers. Uh, all right, let's start with the hardest part, which tends to be the, uh, the uh, caps here, the buttons. Uh, I printed them on, on rafters so that um, to prevent the elephant's foot effect because the tolerances are pretty sensitive, but it's still going to really depend on what kind of uh, filament you use and how well it's calibrated. Um, if it's too loose, glue it in. Uh, if it's too tight, you can trim it a little, and if you needed, glue it. Hopefully it will just pop in, um, and uh, you can also just shrink the part. I'll probably also, also upload like the CAD uh, files um, if you need to create different sizes of it, depending on uh, how your tolerances come out. So just kind of try to remove the main support material. Sanding might be easiest, but I haven't done that and it's worked out fine. So, um, just want to make sure there's really nothing around the edges. Sorry, apologies, I'm trying to keep everything in frame, but it's difficult as I look over the top of the camera and, and try to um, work that way. All right. So let's see, so that should be tight, and then just kind of pop in. All right, so we got the one. Maybe I'll just use my nail this time instead of even trying with flush cutters. Unless if there's some stubborn pieces, you need the cutters. edges, make sure nothing protruding. And this is just really going to vary a lot. I did it first, get it out of the way because it's, it's the hardest part. All right, uh, let's do, uh, each of these has a support piece. Um, try to grab the internal part of the support and twist and often that will that will just work right there. And well, we popped off part of the support. Let's try a different internal part here. And see the whole thing just comes out. Well, whole thing should come out. I still have a little bit left, and that's why I have the tweezers. It's a little difficult for me to work with the uh, behind the camera here because it's blocking my my view of it, and I can't see that much detail on my screen. So apologies as things come in and out of view. Got almost all of the support. Yeah, it's looking. Pretty good. And then this piece, it's really just at the edge here. Usually it takes a couple pulls. There we go. Looking pretty clean. So I just like to poke around a little bit if there's anything loose, because it's going to make the bearing sit unevenly if there's any uh, loose strands in there. All right, so we have all the, the pieces prepped now. Um, it's the light diffuser. You can print them in other colors, but it won't be as bright. So white's the best if you want fully bright, and that just pops right in. Uh, all right, so now let's get the, the bearings in. First, we'll start with the cap. And you just want to push down evenly. That's looking good. Uh, and then before we pop the cap on, we're going to put the LED. And it should 
fit in nice and snug. Again, if you have to glue any pieces, that's that's all right. Just try not to get any glue in a way that will ooze onto the outside. Um, and uh, certainly with the bearings, uh, you can't really glue those. Uh, maybe around the edges you could. All right, uh, the other bearing. Uh, we'll start it and then push it against the surface so it's even. So that's all good. And then these just push in. And then that should be it. Nice and smooth spin. So it just depend on how well you prep the bearings. And, uh, oh, I already did the key here. I don't know if I'll do a video on that. I'll certainly explain it. Uh, but, let's just see. Am I going on the right side? Yep, there it's on. See. Perfect. All right, well, I hope you have fun making your own. And uh, let me know in the comments how it goes.